Hello, welcome to our fasting devotional. My name is Pastor Gabriel and I'm very excited and honored that I get to do my devotional here with you. And I want to touch on how prayer and fasting can turn a defeat into a victory. And I want to go into a story in the Bible, in the book of Judges. And in this time, the Israelites are fighting against the Benjamites. And what's so interesting is the way that this fight goes down and the end result. And so the first day of this fight, the, the Israelites experience defeat. The second day, they lose again. But then on this third, this third time of fighting, they experience a victory. And fasting had a lot to do with it. Judges 20, verse 26 it says, then all the sons of Israel, mind you, this is after they've, they've went through these defeats. Then all the sons of Israel and all the people went up and came to Bethel and wept. And they sat there before the Lord and fasted that day until evening and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. One of the great things that this army here did, that the Israelites did, was their response. After defeat, after defeat, they chose to respond differently. They chose to respond in a whole different way. And I believe that for myself and for all of us, as we begin to respond differently to defeats that are happening in our lives, to, um, you know, um, maybe, maybe you, you lost something in your life. Maybe you are, are looking for a, a new job or there's the finances aren't there right now or whatever the battle is right now for you. Maybe it's sickness or, but I believe that as we respond differently, it's going to have a whole lot to do with getting a victorious outcome. And one of the great things that they did, they didn't just ask God, help me in this time, God. They actually dove in full force in prayer and in fasting. And, and they, they, they wept before God. They fasted that day until the evening. And so it really shows it's a posture. I believe that when we fast, it's a posture that I'm taking on. And I, I'm taking on a posture of humility before God. I'm taking on a posture of, of surrenderance to God and allowing God to, to really have full control in, in, my, in my season, in my life, and in the battle that I'm facing. Judges 20 verse 28, it talks about Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, ministered before in those days saying, shall I yet again go out to the battle against the sons of my brother Benjamin or shall I quit? And the Lord said, go up for tomorrow. I will hand them over to you. So after they fasted, after they prayed, remember, because they're, they're in a defeated place at the moment. And after they fasted and prayed and seek the Lord, what happened? They began to hear from the Lord. So one of the most beautiful things is that you will experience and that I enjoy experiencing in my life is that when I choose to come to God in a, in, in a time of prayer and fasting, when I'm in a battle, I get to hear God. I feel like that's one of the most soothing um, um, and comforting things. If I could just hear your voice, God, in this battle, I'm going to be okay. And, and they were able to hear not just his voice, but boldly go up for tomorrow i will hand them over to you they hear victory and because they they seek the lord they prayed and they fasted they were able to hear god because remember god's always speaking victory if you're in a place right now where you're feeling defeated and maybe there's some family issues maybe there's um, um some personal issues within yourself that you're dealing with some emotional things going on if you're constantly speaking and believing defeat you're 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 not speaking God's language. God is always speaking victory over your life. And in this time of fasting, we're going to be able to tune into the victorious language of God. Judges 20 verse 35, it says, and the Lord struck down the tribe of Benjamin before Israel so that the sons of Israel destroyed 25,100 men of Benjamin that day all of whom were swords, swordsmen. So what is that? That's letting us know that what God said, he's going to back it up and it's going to happen because he's, he's going to um, keep this promise that he has given us. What is the promise? The promise of victory. 
I'm going to get you through this. I'm going to get you to the other side and I'm going to get you the victory because with God, we have the victory. The moment that we start trying to do things in our own strength, the moment that we try to try to um, push God out of the battle, well, that's the moment that we're going to experience massive defeat in our life. And we don't have to experience the defeat. God is right here because why? He loves you. He loves you unconditionally. And God loves seeing you go from victory to victory to victory. So let's allow God in this time of fasting to experience, to, get, to give us the experience of victory. Whatever was holding you down, whatever was causing you to, to um, feel defeated and overwhelmed, let's, let's choose today to not speak defeat. Let's choose today to speak the victory. I just want to encourage all of you guys that are fasting. Let's, let's choose to end this fast to hear from the Lord. Pray and fast. Remember, it's not just fasting, abstaining from food, but we're also we're praying and getting communication with God so that you could hear God's instructions to take you to your next victory. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much.